Hey guys, oh man, my glasses. Hey guys, if you guys actually followed me from ISE, I'm actually out here in Long Beach, Convention Hall. They have a, they have their own sportsman show here, so we're gonna check it out. All right, see you guys. So we're inside the, the hall show. I had to go visit my buddy, Outcast or Fishing. Let's go check him out. This is a man, the myth, the legend. He's got all of his spoons out here as well. I'm actually gonna be picking up a few because I want to go try some trout fishing, and I'm actually I need some tips from the pro. So, so check them out. <laughs> all here, and if you're not following, subscribe. And check this guy out, David Snares. Right on, right on. If you guys haven't already, check out his stuff. All the girl handmade, all handmade, custom. I condensed 100 spoons into 20 different colorways and three different sizes, so that way the angler themselves will be able to pick what kind of distance they want to be able to go to. So since I'm gonna actually be picking up a few today, um, what do you actually recommend for me? I'm actually thinking about doing like some trout fishing uh, over in Anaheim, uh, if that if that is a, if that matters, if that's a thing. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm very new to trout fishing. I, I don't have any lightweight rods. We eat for crabbers, so what we have is big broomsticks that we use in the Bay Area. So so this is all new to me. What do you recommend for me? So a lot of the local SoCal cats of beer spoons, they actually like to throw them. 5 gram sizes. What I've done as well too, I've given a little bit more of the distance side while I'd be able to get to farther distances with the 7 gram as well too. Um, but a lot of the fish, when they're not biting either close or far, I'll even go that much closer and that's where the micro series comes into play. I get a closer distance. With a 0.8 gram here, I'm be able to cast those 0.8 gram, you can't really see the braid here, but I use a 3 pound braid and I'd be able to cast these guys 30, 35 feet, mind you, with no wind. Yeah, so it's a whole bit you can do. It depends on what the angler wants to do with it, whether they want to cast far or up close. So if you actually get one, and they're, a piece of him is in is in your hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's what I love him. And, and that's why we came here. We came to one sport. You'll probably see him in a lot of the social media as well. Hit me up on Instagram, outcaster underscore. You can also hit me up on YouTube. Outcaster, pack Outcaster, and then you can also hit me up on rayfishing.com where you can get my spoons. Also, we also just got locked in with one of the local bait companies over here in Long Beach, Los Angeles area. I'll get to that as we get TBD at this point in time, but we're going to get you out there and locked in. Sweet. Awesome, man. While he's going to be uh, setting me up, I guess uh, we can just have him explaining uh, which rod. Which rod do you recommend? So, rod recommendations for spoons specifically. I have the Argentum rod here, it's a seven foot. We also offer, Ray Fishing also offers a seven, six foot. But this rod right here, very thin profile. You're looking at possibly a quarter of an inch thick on this guy. But check out the bend on this. The bend on this guy is gonna be really clean, if you can see that there. And the difference with Ray Fishing rods specifically, they're gonna have a hollow rod with a solid carbon fiber tip, which is why it's so thin, if you can see that there. Other rods, I can work with them as well. Also, a golden feather, just a little bit lighter. Same exact bendo on these guys here. Again, solid carbon fiber tip, so that way you get that extra extra added sensitivity. Then load up for me, please. There you go. You're gonna be able to feel those bites that much more. One other one I wanna give you Maverick, just a little bit solid setup as well. Wood accents, you can see that there. But now you're able to use micro spoons, spoons, jerk baits, mini cranks, mini jigs. So I give you a wide variety of applications that you can do with just the one rod. One more. Strictly just a, uh, uh, a jigging rod. And this one's called a hummingbird, as you can see there. They offer two different sizes, 7.7 seven and 8.1. It is a two-piece rod, as you can see here. Strictly for jigging, but you can also use it for spoon as well, too. On this, nice and crisp. Nice and The reason why it's on the 8 foot is so that when you cast your 132 jigs, 164 ounce jigs, no problems. So you heard it here from him, from Mr. Pack himself. Definitely gonna be picking up, picking up one, one of these, and you know what? I'm gonna be bothering him probably 24 7 on even how to do it. So. Damn it! <laughs> You already know, man. So thank you for your time. I really appreciate you, man. Shake you, bro. And make sure you check them out. Check them out. All right, guys. That's it from uh, Vivid Stairs and Fishing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. Yeah. And if you're not following him right now, like and subscribe. Vivid Stairs. You're in no baby.